Welcome to this video showing you how to use your solar controller. Powering up your controller. When your controller is first connected to a battery, it will enter power up mode. This means the LED screen and all the icons on the display will flash for a few seconds. Depending on the battery voltage when it powers up, the controller may do a boost charge or quickly go into float charge. Toggling the display screen and using the auto scroll function. To view your battery's current stats, press the B button to change the information screen. To quickly view all your stats, you can enable auto scroll by pressing and holding the A button. In this mode, the controller will automatically scroll through the status screens every few seconds. To turn off auto scroll, press and hold the A button again. Selecting a battery type. To select your battery type, press and hold the B key for 3 seconds. Release the button when the display shows the number 1 blinking. The controller has four charging profiles, lithium, sealed, AGM, and flooded. Use the B key to toggle through the profile options. When you have selected your battery type, press and hold the A button for 3 seconds to confirm it. If you have a second battery bank connected, the controller will prompt you to set the battery type with a blinking number 2. When completed successfully, your selected battery type should now be visible on the bottom row. Sun and Moon Symbols The LED screen has a sun and a moon symbol that indicates whether your panels are producing a charge. The moon symbol will be visible when there is no charge being generated, such as at nighttime. The sun symbol will show when the panels are producing a charge. The numerical values shown on the screen will indicate how many amps are being put into your battery. In this demonstration, you can see we remove the solar input, so the moon symbol reappears. Using the AC button. If your solar controller is connected to a compatible Go Power power inverter with the correct cable, the controller acts as an inverter remote. You can use the AC button to turn the inverter on or off by pressing and holding the AC button. To turn the inverter off, press and hold the button again. USB port. The controller is also equipped with a USB port to charge handheld devices. Try to remember to replace the dust cover once you are done using the port. Max Boost Function The Max Boost Function button can be used to top up your batteries using a higher charge current. To activate this feature, press and hold the Boost button. This function will last for 30 minutes. There will be a video dedicated to the Boost function coming out shortly. Performing a soft reset. If you encounter any issues with your controller, we recommend performing a soft reset. To do this, hold down all four buttons simultaneously until the display begins to blink. This helps to reset the system, sort of like turning your computer off and back on again. During this process, your controller settings, like your battery type, will be saved. 